but I work for you and I really believe that mantra. So you shouldn't be nervous because uh, again, I work for you. Mm -hmm. So that's really how you should feel. It is the EPA Great Lakes CCR Protection Bill. It amends the Environmental Protection Act uh, such that all coal combustion residuals, also known as CCRs or coal ash, that are generated by the electric industry in a city bordering Lake Michigan will be immediately removed from the sites. This legislation affects any municipalities along the lakefront that have coal ash, which impacts cities all the way up from like Evanston all the way down to our district in South Chicago. The pollution generated by their plant affects local groundwater, air quality, and the ecosystems, killing over 5.2 million fish in Lake Michigan every year. NRG is looking for an exemption from SB9, the former coal ash legislation, to keep from cleaning up their contamination as they want to simply just cap and seal these ash pool sites without actually cleaning them up. And according to the Sierra Club, the Waukegan Generating Station emits 100 pounds of mercury every single year, which is really important as Lake Michigan provides drinking water to over 8 million people. As you can imagine, there are significant consequences of the pollution that's left by these CCRs. Yeah. Um, a study done by the Clean Air Task Force concluded that this Waukegan plant directly contributes to 570 asthma attacks, 34 premature deaths, and 54 heart attacks every year. Mm. The carcinogenic compounds that are found in these CCRs are known to be linked to cancer, obviously, uh, kidney problems, and impaired brain development, especially in children. So, since this coal ash has been dumped here since the 1940s, advocates worry that its presence will inhibit future restoration and expansion efforts. So we strongly urge you to support this bill and continue to work um, to fight for environmental justice um, for communities across Illinois and our glorious lakefront. And we appreciate you listening to us today. Uh, this, you know, this is a bill I've been really looking at because with us, it's really about, I believe in the policy. You want the idea of the policy, you want to make sure that the words and the, the details match. And, mm -hmm. I, and as I'm getting more educated on this, uh, I think this is the bill that I'm going to support. I'm still, you know, <laughs> looking at the details. Yeah, of course. But we have to, but making sure that, we, you know, whatever mandates we put on local areas, they can afford it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm 100% supportive of this because, again, we in South Chicago, we understand it's a lot of dirty industry in the area and we want to clean it up for the future mm -hmm. because we know the environment is important. It's a process and this starts with policy. So yeah. you being here for this and Waukegan, the same issue, working class community right on the lake. Mm -hmm. When it comes to issues like this, yeah. the company is required to set aside a certain amount of money for remediation regardless of the severity of their financial situation. Mm -hmm. So they're really trying hard to make sure that NRG is taking accountability for the damage that they've been causing. This is the first step. You all being down here and pushing us to do it. Uh, you're making a difference <laughs> on the way I view this, so thank you for your advocacy.